I said that what I'm saying about this first scarcity is that uh, uh, they're supposed to make it in a way that everybody will, at least when you are going to work, at least will benefit what you are doing. Look at people now are suffering. No food, nothing. Pay salary, no way. Everything is just look like stand, standing by. So we're supposed to let the, the government put something a, 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 among this very thing I'm saying now. Let them do something better in a way that we will, we will know them as the rulers and they, they are doing fine. If they are not doing fine, how people will be making no, no, I'm just telling you the fact. What they are doing is very wrong, right? What they're supposed to do to pay people or to, pay, or to reduce the fuel, uh, fuel price and uh, let things stay easy for masses, right? That is my whole problem. Yeah. My name is David Wosu. Okay. Yeah. Well, scarcity has to do with government because um, if the uh, importers are being allowed to bring in fuel, since government is not bringing in fuel, now, let me jam it together, and we, we saw that NMPC introduced bad fuel, yes. meaning that the government introduced bad fuel. Yes. So the best way is for government to actually take care of the customs that check the, the importers. And now the, the next people is a, a standard organization whose duty it is to check quality of products being given to Nigerians been given to people because it's not only fuel. There are drugs that are fake all over. The government is not interested. Government should show more concern on the city's nurries, their good health. So many people must have died because of this bad fuel. So many things have happened because of this bad fuel. So many cars have been damaged. Who is going to pay them compensation? Nobody. So that's all I know. Okay, so you're saying that the government should um, put in organizations that will checkmate the quality of this product? Absolutely correct. My name is uh, Father Onse Adeola. I'm a businesswoman. This is my store. Uh, importation of bad fuel is actually affecting us generally in uh, Abia and in Nigeria as a whole. Because definitely this is going to affect vehicles you understand it's going to have it's going to be making us to be having a lot of bad uh, vehicles on the road and for the increments it's really affecting transportation fare um people all around now you know the 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 salary thing is not increased and um right now you pay high amount of money to get things done which is affecting everybody it's even affecting our business too because when people are coming to buy they complain so when fuel is increased the transportation fuel is increased and it's affecting everybody generally so i think um what i would suggest government should do is to reduce the price of fuel and um i would even suggest the refinery in nigeria should be it should be reformed as in it should be um it should be taken care of so that we can be refining uh for locally in a way it would kind of um reduce the price of uh, for when there's a body that is checkmating that they, they will be able to check the quality of the fuel before it is being sent out and in that way that will cope that uh, aspect my name is Kisli, so I'm a phone engineer, as you can see since morning I have not worked anything due to the influx of that fuel that caused many problems in Nigeria, which people from here to get nice in 100 naira, any drop you drop is 100 naira, so people are not easy coming out because of the bad fuel influx, which government, we have not seen such a thing before in Nigeria apart from this APC government. So we don't even pray to see such government again in our life. So they should remove anything APC because what they cannot spoil, they cannot exist. So that's APC for you. Yeah, the bad fuel importation, which we have not seen, I should, I think that the people that are importing the fuel should be the one they should hold responsible for it. So that's what I think because it's a mistake from them. They, we shouldn't, we must shouldn't, be any consequence about it so that's why i'm trying to put into it mr manuel walker i'm the manager 
one of the station on Modica Junction, Aba Road. It's not good. You know, the federal government should know what to do to compensate people, if I'm to suggest. So, and um, this thing is really affecting both the price of oil, others are selling above price. But we, Owando, we don't sell above from price. Even if others are selling 1,000 naira per liter, 200 naira per liter, where well, once we have oil, we we'll sell the normal price. So that is it's a limitation to business in the sense that had it been we are receiving every week, we we'll receive product. Since it's cars now, we may be receiving maybe half a truck. So normally it's affecting everyone. Um, KK people, normally they do collect 100 naira. But now, like yesterday, when I was going back around kind 8 o'clock, uh, I was like to pay like 150 before getting to the place I'm going. So the hiking of a price of a thing is affecting everybody, everybody, not only... Uh, KK people, everybody is being affected. So uh, I would have suggest if the federal government should come in and do the need for and help the masses. So that is the thing. Okay, good afternoon. Can you tell us your name? My name is Treasure. Treasure. Okay, okay. I'm a student of Absu, Abia State University. Omoe, it's really, it's, it's really bad. It's really affecting us as an individual, as a student. The price of um, transportation is high. It's really affecting the engine, the car engines. Like, we are meant to even like take 50 naira. I'm paying 200 naira. It's not fair now. So it's really affecting me. That they should just like know how to do it because it's really affecting us. They should import a better one for us. We are tired of this. Um, um, adulterated fuel, so they should just know how to um, suck it away. My name is a Pastor Oba Ahiediegu. Actually, it's a sad story. Because this is my first time of hearing such happening in Nigeria. Since I started using cars. How about in the year 1977? That is my first car. My first car. So for now, I don't know what to, what caused the problem. But all I know is that in every matter there is a solution. Uh, by the grace of this is not the first time of when you talk about the first scarcity. Like as I said earlier, that in every matter there is a solution to that. So government have to look into it. So as to find solution to this very problem. Because we are all suffering. So there is need that government will arise and they look into the matter so that all citizens of Nigeria will be free from all the challenges that are facing us today because of petroleum. If I tell you that my engine, the engine of my car, even today is no more working because of the bad fuel. And as a result of that, I have stopped using my car. So the bad fuel has um, happened as a result, the, your very could be damaged happened as a result of the... Yes, that is the reason why I decided to leave the car. Today I am working on my feet. My name is Yokechukwu, I'm with all things. But it's great, I'm, at least I'm supervisor. Okay. So, that, uh, I think the government should look into the uh, fuel distributors. Whoever is in charge, they should call him to order. Like by this time now, they don't sell for every few stations will be locked. They don't sell. Then towards evening, they will increase them uh, the price. Some say two something, and it's affecting us. You it, it, look at now, we did not increase. We did not top one hundred on the on the tip fare, uh, but we are paying buying for uh, two hundred and uh, two hundred. The cheapest you buy is one hundred and eighteen naira. So it, it, it's affecting us. Whoever is in charge should look into that one. Take transportation. From my side, I take two drops, and it has increased. Like the price inflation has increased. And when you are like asking the driver that, uh, uh, why is like you say there's no fuel, it's fuel scarcity and all that. So that's one of the challenges I do face. You understand? The same. And I think the government should check most people that are in charge. You understand? Because I saw a video of one person buying a fuel in a Storex, you know. That was, what about others? Wouldn't they not still get their own fuel? So, I think the fuel scarcity is actually affecting us in a very bad way. And the government should do something about it. My name is Comrade K. Chukuma. Thank you very much. Um, I think uh, it's an unwelcome development and we don't like it. 
Are you getting it? Federal government should do something to reduce the the price of fuel in Nigeria. It's really affecting uh, both transportation fare, you know, and means of tra uh, uh, transport in Nigeria. So federal government to, should come in and see how they can reduce the hike in price, and then possibly, you know, regulate it. Uh, yeah, in a way it could suit our society. Thank you. Well. I am very much aware that Nigeria have a standard organization. Are you getting it? So they are in position to uh, see to the standard of the fuel that's supposed to bring into they're supposed to bring into Nigeria for use. Are you getting it? So the standard organization should be, be they should be proactive to ensure that such bad fuel is not imported into Nigeria because it will be killing our cars. You know, and you know, going by the the rate of uh, exchange now cost of cars is very is very costly it's, yeah it's on the high side so federal government should do should employ the the appropriate quotas i get in it to see to the uh, that uh, bad importation uh, importation of fuel they should do something about it and ensure that it doesn't happen the second time thank you very much